A new wearable bioreactor could be the first step toward limb regeneration. We owe this one to our froggy friends. Researchers led by Tufts University scientists have developed a wearable bioreactor that uses progesterone to induce tissue regeneration. The device was tested on adult aquatic African clawed frogs, a species already capable of partial limb regeneration. According to their study, published in the journal Cell Reports, frogs in the experiment had one of their hind legs amputated. The wounds were either treated with the bioreactor protected by the device but without progesterone, or left untreated. The 3D printed bioreactor is made from silicone and filled with hydrogel. The gel is a mix of silk proteins and progesterone, a hormone that prompts tissue repair. All groups had their devices removed after 24 hours. After nine and a half months, the group that had worn the bioreactors with progesterone grew a paddle-like structure with bones, nerves, and blood vessels. Those which did not grew a cartilaginous spike-like structure. Scientists hope this finding takes us a step closer to technology that could aid regeneration of amputated limbs in humans. Deep sea monsters, plastic-eating bacteria, monster planets, what else have we discovered over the past year? Six male sharks found pregnant. That's unusual. Science News reports a researcher has discovered six hermaphrodite sharks pregnant off the coast in eastern India. Marine biologist Alyssa Barnes noticed there were more male big eye hound sharks than females, yet the males had a visible stomach bulge. Barnes dissected the fish and found the male sharks had external claspers, like most male hound sharks, but they also had ovaries like their female counterparts. Six of the seven dissected sharks turned out to be pregnant, with Barnes finding at least two baby sharks in one. Another shark biologist told Science News that hermaphroditism, an organism containing both male and female reproductive systems, is rare in sharks. Science News reports Barnes claims its abnormality may have been caused by pollutants in the water or hormonal changes. New drug found in dirt Scientists have discovered a new group of antibiotics in soil. Researchers examined some 2,000 soil samples from across the U.S. Following analysis of the samples, they discovered a new group of antibiotics called melacidins. The team applied the melacidin to rats infected with the MRSA virus and found it annihilated the infection. Lead researcher Sean Brady told the BBC, it's impossible to tell whether or not the discovery would make it to clinics. India has discovered a new planet. The Financial Times reports that a team of scientists in India have discovered a sub-Saturn-sized exoplanet. The planet's sun-like star is reportedly 600 light-years away from Earth. The planet has a mass of around 27 Earths, while its radius is six times that of Earth. Scientists used the PRL Advanced Radio Velocity Abu Sky Search Spectrograph to measure the mass of a planet traveling around a star. The surface temperature of the planet is approximately 600 degrees Celsius, which makes it virtually uninhabitable. Distance-wise, it is seven times closer to its sun-like star in comparison to Earth and its sun. It takes around 19.5 days to complete one rotation around its sun-like star. The Economic Times reports that the scientists believe elements such as ice, silicates, and iron content make up around 60 to 70 percent of the total mass of the planet, based on the calculations of the mass and radius. Financial Express also reports this type of discovery is crucial in our understanding of how these types of planets are formed. New Bacteria Eats Plastic Plastic is one of the greatest threats to ocean life, but new research might change all that. Morgan Vey, a senior at Reed College in Oregon, has developed a new bacteria that eats PET plastic. This synthetic fiber is a polyester polymer most commonly found in plastic bottles and clothing. PET takes hundreds of years to break down in the environment and is a major contributor to worldwide waste and pollution. According to the Oregonian, Vague took soil, sand, and water samples polluted with petroleum from Galveston Bay in Texas. From these, she narrowed down the microbes that produce the highest amount of plastic dissolving chemicals. Next, she left three with nothing but plastic to feed on. She later found that the three types of microbes had consumed all of the plastic. Two of the bacteria are known, but the third is a new bacteria discovered by Vey. She's calling it Pseudomonas morganensis. Speaking to the Oregonian, Vague's biology professor described the discovery as a watershed moment. The professor explained the bacteria occurs naturally, but also that more research needs to be done on it. Bermuda's subsea twilight zone. Like the depths of space, much of the planet's oceans remain unexplored. 
Scientists researching waters around Bermuda and its subsea volcanic seamount have found new species of marine life. The Necton project team used special equipment including submersibles, as well as technical divers and remotely operated vehicles. The depth region they looked at is known as the Rarotrophic Zone. Only low amounts of sunlight reach this deep. Some media have dubbed it Bermuda's Twilight Zone as a result. Last year, researchers sighted a lionfish at a depth of 302 meters. That's said to be the deepest observed. Water temperature at this depth was a cool 19.7 degrees Celsius. In another study, scientists also detailed a new kind of black coral fauna called Stichopaths powderlessi. This tree-like coral was sighted at 300 meters deep. Oxford University biology professor and director of the Necton Project, Alex Rogers, said the discoveries are, quote, evidence of how little we know and how important it is to document the unknown frontier to ensure that its future is protected. A discovery like no other. Gemfields, the world's largest producer of green stones, has discovered a giant green emerald in Zambia. The emerald weighs more than 1.1 kilograms and was discovered in Kagam, the world's largest emerald mine located in Zambia. A statement released by Gemfield said that the emerald has remarkable clarity and a perfectly balanced golden green hue. The gem is being called Inkalamu, which means lion in the local Bemba language in Zambia. The uncut emerald was discovered in an open pit mine on October 2nd by a geologist and a veteran emerald miner. Several pieces are expected to be cut from the large emerald and will be auctioned in Singapore this month. Most of the emeralds in the world are mined from Zambia, Colombia, and Brazil. As a result, emeralds are even more precious than diamonds due to their scarcity.